We all dream of winning the lottery. Imagine suddenly having millions. No more work, endless vacations, and all the things you ever wanted. It's a tempting fantasy, isn't it? But what happens when these dreams become a reality? Life can take unexpected turns, as one woman, Lisa Carter, discovered. Lisa's story reminds us that sometimes, true happiness lies not in riches, but in the simple joys of life and the strength of community. Lisa Carter was an ordinary woman living in a quiet suburb. She worked as a librarian, a job she loved, and lived a modest life with her husband and two children. One day, everything changed. Lisa's great aunt, whom she barely knew, passed away. To everyone's surprise, she had won a massive lottery jackpot years ago and had left it all to Lisa. Suddenly, Lisa and her family were thrust into the world of unimaginable wealth. They inherited a staggering 33 million pounds. It was a life-changing sum that promised to fulfill their wildest dreams. At first, the Carters were ecstatic. They could finally afford all the things they had only dreamt of. They planned lavish vacations to exotic destinations, indulging in first-class flights, luxurious hotels, and once-in-a-lifetime experiences. They purchased a brand new sports car, a sleek and powerful machine that turned heads wherever they went. Life was a whirlwind of excitement and extravagance. The Carters enjoyed the finer things in life, dining at the most exclusive restaurants and attending glamorous events. They felt like they were living in a dream. As time went on, Lisa and her husband started to think about their living situation. They had been living in their modest home for years, and while it had served them well, they began to feel that it no longer met their needs. The couple often found themselves daydreaming about a more spacious and modern living environment. Their modest home, once cozy and comfortable, now felt cramped and outdated in comparison to their newfound wealth. The small rooms and outdated decor no longer reflected their current lifestyle or aspirations. They wanted a home that would not only accommodate their growing social circle, but also provide them with the luxury and comfort they now desired. They decided to embark on a grand renovation project, transforming their house into a luxurious mansion fit for their affluent lifestyle. This was not just a simple makeover. It was a complete transformation. They envisioned a home that would be the epitome of elegance and sophistication, a place where they could entertain guests in style and enjoy the finer things in life. They envisioned a state-of-the-art kitchen, equipped with the latest high-end appliances and designed with both functionality and aesthetics in mind. This kitchen would be the heart of their home, a place where they could cook gourmet meals and host intimate dinner parties, a spacious living room perfect for hosting lavish parties with elegant decor and ample seating for their guests. This room would be a showcase of their taste and style, a place where they could entertain in grand fashion and create lasting memories with friends and family, and a master suite complete with a walk-in closet and a spa-like bathroom. This would be their personal sanctuary, a place where they could relax and unwind after a long day. The walk-in closet would provide ample storage for their designer wardrobes, and the spa-like bathroom would offer a luxurious retreat with a soaking tub, rain shower, and high-end finishes. They hired a renowned architect and an interior designer eager to create their dream home. The couple worked closely with these professionals, sharing their vision and ensuring that every detail was perfect. From the layout of the rooms to the choice of materials and finishes, they were involved in every step of the process, excited to see their dream home take shape. However, their ambitious plans soon ran into trouble. Their neighbors, who had always been friendly and welcoming, were not happy about the proposed renovations. They complained about the potential noise and disruption during construction. They worried about the increased traffic that a larger house would bring to their quiet street. The Carters' relationship with their neighbors became strained. The once peaceful community was now divided. Lisa and her family found themselves at odds with the people they had known for years. As the conflict with their neighbors escalated, Lisa found herself increasingly troubled. The once peaceful and harmonious neighborhood had turned into a battleground of disputes and misunderstandings. The tension was palpable, and it seemed like every day brought a new argument or disagreement. Lisa began to have second thoughts. She often found herself sitting alone, reflecting on the situation. The joy and excitement she once felt about their new home were now overshadowed by a growing sense of unease. She wondered if they had made the right decision. She realized that their dream home was coming at a high cost. The financial strain was one thing, but the emotional toll was even greater. 
the house that was supposed to be a symbol of their success and happiness was now a source of stress and conflict. It was destroying the close-knit community they had cherished for so long. The sense of belonging and camaraderie that had once defined their neighborhood was slipping away. Lisa missed the days when neighbors would gather for barbecues and children played together in the streets. She had always valued her relationships with her neighbors, and the thought of losing their friendship over a house filled her with sadness. These were people who had been there for her through thick and thin, and the idea of losing that support network was heartbreaking. The thought of losing their friendship over a house filled her with sadness. She couldn't shake the feeling that they were sacrificing something irreplaceable for the sake of material gain. The house, with all its grandeur, felt empty without the warmth of genuine relationships. She began to question their extravagant lifestyle. The luxury items that once brought her joy now seemed trivial in the grand scheme of things. She wondered if they had lost sight of what truly mattered in their pursuit of wealth and status. Was all this luxury worth sacrificing the things that truly mattered? The spacious rooms and expensive decor felt hollow without the laughter and love of friends and family. Lisa started to see the house not as a home, but as a gilded cage. She realized that their pursuit of material possessions had led them down a path of isolation and discontent. The more they acquired, the more distant they became from the things that once brought them true happiness. Lisa knew it was time for a change, to prioritize what really mattered in life. Lisa decided to have an honest conversation with her husband. She shared her concerns about the renovation project and the impact it was having on their lives. To her surprise, her husband confessed that he had been feeling the same way. He missed their old life, the simplicity, and the strong sense of community. They both realized that their newfound wealth had brought them more stress than happiness. They had everything they could ever want materially, but they had lost sight of what truly mattered their relationships, their community, and their sense of belonging. Section 8. The Power of Community Together, Lisa and her husband made a decision that surprised everyone, including themselves. They decided to scale back their renovation plans drastically. They would still update their home, but they would be mindful of their neighbors' concerns and the character of their neighborhood. They reached out to their neighbors, apologizing for the conflict and expressing their desire to find a compromise. To their relief, their neighbors were receptive to their change of heart. They worked together to find solutions that addressed everyone's concerns. Section 9. Finding Happiness Beyond Riches In the end, the Carters' home renovation was modest and respectful of their surroundings. It was a far cry from the grand mansion they had initially envisioned but it was perfect for them. They had rediscovered the importance of community and the simple joys of life. They sold their flashy sports car and replaced it with a more practical family vehicle. They cut back on their extravagant spending, realizing that true happiness was not about material possessions. Section 10, a lesson in unexpected turns. Lisa's story is a reminder that sometimes life takes unexpected turns. It teaches us that true wealth lies not in the size of our bank accounts, but in the richness of our relationships and the strength of our communities. It shows us that even in the face of unimaginable fortune, it's important to stay grounded and true to ourselves. The Carter's journey is a testament to the enduring power of community and the importance of finding happiness beyond material possessions. Section 11, The Enduring Allure of the Lottery. While Lisa's story may be unique, the dream of winning the lottery continues to captivate our imaginations. The allure of the lottery is a universal phenomenon, transcending borders and cultures. People from all walks of life, regardless of their background or financial status, are drawn to the idea of striking it rich overnight. It's a dream that promises instant wealth and the freedom to live life on one's own terms. It offers a tantalizing glimpse into a world of possibilities, a chance to escape our everyday lives and indulge in our wildest fantasies. The thought of winning the lottery can be a powerful motivator, inspiring people to imagine a life free from financial worries. It's a dream that can bring hope and excitement, even if just for a moment. And who knows, maybe one day, luck will smile upon us too. The anticipation of the draw, the thrill of checking the numbers, and the possibility of a life-changing win keep millions of people coming back week after week. It's a ritual that brings a sense of community, as people share their hopes and dreams with friends and family. 
but Lisa's experience serves as a valuable reminder. Even if we never win the lottery, we can still find happiness and fulfillment in the simple joys of life. The lottery may offer a dream of instant wealth, but true contentment often comes from the everyday moments that we sometimes take for granted. It's the laughter shared with friends, the warmth of a family